Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover. It's been a while since we heard discussions on new music from Eminem and a clip recently surfaced online that's revived the topic of new music on the horizon, although there are some interesting details that have emerged surrounding this. Today we also have a clip that surfaced online of Ice Cube where he talks about the likelihood of an Eminem collab happening and this has sparked reactions online. Today we also have more from 50 Cent and he's been active doing his thing on social media and once again Diddy is at the receiving end. He shared this report, Young Miami breaks up with Diddy after he cut her allowance to just $200,000 a month and this is based on the rumors that they split up and 50 shared this with the caption, LOL Puffy, you better fix this before I get to Miami, laughing emoji or you're gonna be stuck playing with my old ish, LOL you know I don't miss nothing. Justin been knocked it off, we keep it player on this side. And for some context, for those wondering, I'm trying to understand thinking emojis, who is Justin and what is he talking about? Well, here you go, Justin Puffy son. So when 50 says, did his son be knocked it off? No way, you're kidding. He didn't just say what I think he did, did he? Oh, hold up, wait a minute. Wow. Now, some of you may have forgotten but we covered a story a while back involving Young Miami when Eminem made it to their finals on Complex's GOAT rapper head-to-head -head bracket. Now we got Lori Banks and Eminem. I'm gonna go with Eminem. I'm gonna go with Eminem. I like Eminem oh because my he's God. crazy. I like Eminem because he made my yeah, I can't be your Superman. Like, oh my God. I'm sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. you. Like, yeah, is that Eminem? <laughs> And 50 Cent remains a problem on social media. Just a few days ago, he shared this. If you were offered 875 million to sell a family member, what you're doing? Well, is it in US dollars? I'm asking for some of y'all. Let's just say I'm a concerned citizen. And 50 Cent shared that with the caption. I'd be like, worried face emoji. You know, I don't F with you, boy. Now go on with these people. It'll be a better life for both of us. LOL. Moving on, a new snippet was found on an Eminem advert on social media that sparked speculations. Thanks to fans on Reddit, it goes, I got something fresh for y'all. And the user adds, this was an Instagram ad and it only had 12 views. Sounds like maybe a new instrumental. And the speculations began. I tried shazamming that beat and nothing popped up so it's new. With the sound of the beat, we could be getting some old Slim Shady back. In fact, when this was brought to my attention, the user highlighted that it sounds like 50s out of control. But more info popped up that linked the beat to a Spanish song, Don't Give Up, which begs the question, why was this being used to promote Eminem when he's got hundreds of songs that they could have used to promote the Martian Matter station? And now some have suggested a sample on the way perhaps. Check this out. Y'all acting like Dre hasn't taken beats before, it could still be for a song. It does sound like something Dre and Eminem would be comfortable with and many agree. It does in fact sound like a Dre beat, lol. Another user expands, definitely sounds like some relapse too ish, but what do you guys think? Was this random or is this a potential sample for an upcoming Eminem music? Moving on to the next point today, a clip surfaced online that sparked discussions that shows Ice Cube talk about the likeliness of an Eminem collaboration. Man, what's the likelihood of you and M jumping in the studio? Oh man, it can happen anytime. I mean, I'm a fan, so, mm -hmm. you know, it's like any time is right, um, we can do that. Um, I mean, there's no plans, but... Yeah, yeah. I'm, I mean, you, I'm, you know I'm Dre. Easy. You know Dre. I'm easy. Yeah, yeah right? I'm, I'm just a phone call away, you know, for mm -hmm. a lot of... You know, I got a high 16 for, for anybody, yeah, pretty that's much. What, that's but, what, so, you know, I'd love to do it. You know, I'm into it. But, you know, I'm like, I'm a self-guided missile. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I just do my own thing. And, you know, you got to keep up. If you can't keep up, I'm, I'm, I'm gone. You're going to keep it moving. I ain't mad at that. I'm saying this because I know Paul's listening, Paul Rosenberg, you know. Yeah. And so. Uh, We'd yeah. love to make it happen. I think the fans would love it. I think. uh you know, you you will see, you know, MCs just, you know, trying to be the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is from a while back that's got some wondering. I wonder, 
why Eminem never approached Ice Cube, which got this response. There was an older interview where Ice Cube said that whenever M's on a track, it becomes his, and the other rappers get easily forgotten on their own song, or something like that. That's why he refused to make a song with M. Another user expands, hope something comes out of this. Really angry track from both of them would be sick. Just don't let M go super fast. This needs to feel gangster. Something like say what you say or my name with exhibit. The whole fast flow thing again would have been good during M's Welcome to Detroit gangster phase. I think they'll clash now though. Cube is laid back with a slower delivery and M would just go 100 miles an hour with endless lyricism. But what do you guys think? Looks like the ball is in Eminem's court to make this happen. Tell us below. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoy content like this and see you on the next one.